And a very, very warm welcome along, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone's doing fit and well here on this. Oh, it's Thursday, the 11th of April, isn't it? Hope everyone's had a great week so far. And we are going to be running Hypno today. So welcome into Chad Northern, first in the chat. Welcome into Mario Kilimanjaro, to the lovely Gem of Arms, to User, to Rob Zorley. How are you? It's been a very long time, hasn't it? To Metal Hammer, to Tom Fanto, to the lovely, lovely, lovely Kim's Mad World, and to Dragon Princess as well. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week, and I hope your Thursday has gotten off to a very good start. We are going to be running good old Drowsy and Hypno today. We last did this back in September 2022, and we haven't touched the line since, for obvious reasons. It's a little bit creepy, isn't it? But now as it's time for a little bit of redemption, it didn't get the best time last time. We've got the comparisons on screen in the bottom left corner as we go through the run. We'll have to see how much better or worse we can do. So let's start the timer and let's see how we get on. Welcome in Gardevoir. I hope you're having a great day. Yes, we do get all three of the punches, which will be quite handy later on. We'll knock out our first Pokemon. It's a level two center it. And we'll move on with our lives. I didn't get to see the eclipse. It was far too cloudy here in the United Kingdom for the tiny, tiny partial eclipse that I would have been able to see. It has just not stopped raining. We have gone for, per for Hidden Power Water this time, going off our special attack as opposed to our physical attack. I always appreciate the comments, Rob, but you know that, but... I've not really been well enough to do pre-recorded videos at the moment. And with this new overlay, I've seen you, it's a few months old now actually, isn't it? We do of course have the hidden power type on screen, as well as the hidden power power. So if for any reason we decided not to have hidden power 70, it would be there on screen. Now already I'm noticing just how weak our defence is. Uh, the UK generally is raining most days of the week, so that'll be that'll be why it was raining. R raining, I like it. The timer has started for me because I'm showing us one twenty-five. What on earth is going on with this timer? I don't know what will be useful this time. I've got to be honest with you all. How very bizarre. Because we've got a timer going. It's it's just lies. I, I wonder why it didn't update the screen at all. Gremlins in OBS. I know that the lovely Kim had an OBS crash earlier on today. I think it's one of those days technology is... Rev uh, it's revolting against us. My time powers are out of control. You're, you're not wrong there. Although, if my time powers were that much out of control, I would absolutely skip to the end of this run. Yep, Thunder is definitely broken here in the UK. That rain dance permanently. Goodness me, our defences are terrible. We only just survived that one. Three HP. And that was because of a lucky critical hit. It's not boding well for the start of the run, is it? I am as healthy as I can be at the moment. Still a little bit ill. But we're going to have to see whether our defences will improve much as a Hypno. We're probably going to need a lot of iron in this one. Welcome in, Yussi. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Oh dear, yes. Oh dear, indeed. Snowy, we are, we're running Hypno. It's not going to be good. It's our lack of physical defense that really is letting us down. That means we're absolutely going to be running Sprout Tower first. Because they're mostly special attackers in there. Sunny day and whirlwind in Finland. I would absolutely take sunny day. From the charts I've seen as well... It's looking like for the next little while there could be very, very high pressure over Finland and the Nordic regions. We'll have to see if that comes to fruition or if the charts are like Lance and Lie. And those of you who didn't see in the chat, uh, if we have time at the end of this run, I will go and do a little test of the randomizer that I've been building. It's kind of 
in a semi-finished version 1 state. There are a couple of things I do need to edit, but we won't get that far in. And we have an interesting Pokemon coming up in the next couple of weeks as well. It's kind of a backport, but it's never been in, an, in any Pokemon game. We're going to be running Crystal Onyx from the anime. So I do need to sort out some artwork for that at some point for the thumbnail. But Crystal Onyx would be Ice and Steel type, and it will have its attack and defense stats swapped. So we'll have huge attack and virtually no defense. And it could be a lot of fun. But so that is in the future, and at the moment, we've got to focus entirely on getting our way through with Hypno. The randomizer would randomize the encounter slot, so it'd just be like running the universal Pokemon randomizer. So you'd get the same things in the same area once you've generated your seed. So you would still get, say for instance, if Caterpie on Route 29 is replaced... Caterpie's not on Route 29, is it? If Sentra is replaced by Caterpie on Route 29, every Sentra that's in that encounter slot would be a Caterpie. It is very much a convergent Onyx. In the files, I've labelled it as Chronix. There we go, we're through Wade. We'll grab that Pokeball to sell for Cash Money Moolah. Did I get the berry? Yes, I did. I did just want to double check and we didn't get punished with an encounter. Yes, Crystal Onyx is absolutely the OG regional form. Let's take a little stroll into Sprout Tower because I think we'll need the levels even for even for taking on Falconet. Even if we didn't want to do Sprout Tower now. It's the best place to get levels. Level 9. Our defense is still only 16. We've got a lot of special defense. But the lion's share of Jotonian gym leaders are, of course, physical attackers. It's only Claire and Price, the final two, that are special attackers. Hypno will either hypnotize us with its performance or it'll send us all to sleep. They are, they are two permutations of that, a gamer's tale. I am annoyed that they didn't add Crystal Onyx in, which is why I've decided, along with a couple of friends I was talking with, to just stick it in. How's our PP looking? Plenty of PP for the rest of the tower. We'll grab the extra potion because our defences are just that shocking. Now, having a look at the learn set, and level 18, I think, is going to be where things get a little bit better at least. That learn set would be viable. It's not the learn set I'm going to go with, but absolutely. It's the kind of thing that if you want to do the run and try it yourself, I would highly recommend that. I'm trying the special attacking one. And then, if need be, we'll dynamic punch Fal not Falcon, Snorlax later on. That's my backup plan. We are in the privileged situation of learning both Dynamic Punch and Zap Cannon, so we can flip the coin tw 20 times, 2 times in this run. Would I ever put Primal Dialga in? Potentially. I'd have to have a look at the nitty-gritty details of a Primal Dialga, but never say never. I'm always open to backport suggestions, although it can quite often take a little while for me to get through them all. Because it's a lot of work. Oh dear, we are not okay PP-wise. That won't count as a reset because that's player error. But we are, in fact, going to have to leave the Sprout Tower. We'll beat up this rat. Because I forgot just how bulky good old Hootoot is. Oh god, I forgot about Lamball. I'd be worried, actually, about putting pals in for copyright purposes. Because then there's a whole giant mess of crap compared to even just backporting. Which the Pokemon company probably isn't too happy about to begin with. But when we start doing other franchises, then it complicates matters even more. So let's try this battle again. One little misplay is not terrible. How many shots is it on this bloody Hoot Hoot? It's a five shot on the Hoot Hoot. Jeez. There we go, we are through Sprout Tower. Should hopefully get Falkner's badge in under 10 minutes. It all depends on how naff our defences are. 
Let's escape rope out of there. Let's use a potion as opposed to going in the Pokemon Center here. 33 HP, we're risking it a little bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. Or maybe Peck will, maybe Disable will miss oh, every time. There we go, that was the strat I was trying to do. It didn't quite pay off. Yep, Confusion, not until 18. We'll probably be somewhere around about Rival 2, Faulkner, not Faulkner, Bugsy for that. Welcome in, Adrian. Never apologise for being late. Well, let's see how we get on against the two Pidgey here. Not taking as much damage as we potentially could have done if it was Spiro, but still 12 HP lost. We'll do the Falcon special here of a Potion and a Berry. And we'll see how we get on against our first Gym Leader together. This is Falconer, the Flying-type specialist who leads with Pidgey. He's going for Tackle as opposed to Mudslap, but that is a good start. And we are through that. I'm going to try sending the Pidgeotto to sleep. So I think this is going to be our best way of scamming a victory. Or we can just get a scammy critical hit. That also works. Level 13 acquired. Falconer defeated in 9 minutes and 55 seconds. Now, where are those comparisons? There we go. 6 minutes, 3 seconds ahead of the original Hypno time. I think so, anyway. I'm going to double check that because that didn't seem quite right. We do need to get the egg. I cannot multitask. No, it was 9.47 last time, so we're going to have to get rid of those splits. I don't know what's happened there. Live split, once again, hasn't saved my splits. It's not right. In the first break, I'll try and fix that. It might just be that we have a weird timer for a little bit. Where one of the splits shows us absolute lies. Now we must get the PlayStation Network, the Paralyzed Cure Berry, rather. I am still not well, people. I am trying my best to at least make some kind of sense, but there will be times where the words don't quite work for me. I was very ill this morning as well. Managed to get a couple more hours sleep. But it's not fun waking up in the middle of the night feeling ill. Thank goodness Supersonic missed there. And I reckon once we get the punches, this run should really open up. Because then we'll have a lot of good coverage. And we'll have a Psychic-type move in our fourth slot. Yes, at least Pound is 100% accurate, unlike Tackle. Hound and Scratch are the two better starting moves. If you end up with Tackle, then you're throwing the dice for the start of the run. But then, as we've seen with a Pokemon like Kangaskhan, with Snowy's under one hour run, even with a move with low accuracy, you can still make the magic happen. It just takes a little longer to get a run going. I watched the unedited footage of Snowy's Kangaskhan run the other day, actually, and my jaw was on the floor. Snowy is a much, much riskier player than I am. And Gordon, if you're out there, apologies, we've got to beat up your whooper. Yes, we do learn Psychic by level up. It's going to be tight. I think it's 48 as a Hypno. So it's going to be tight as to where we learn it, but we should still get it just before the Pokemon League. So around about Claire-ish, I would hope, for Medium Fast. We actually level up a lot slower at the beginning of the game in Medium Fast than we do later on. Now, can we learn Swift? No, we cannot. So that means we will do Early Repel. We'll shove those Super Potions up to Tippy Top Spot. Now, we cannot take on these two horrible hikers, I said we cannot take you on, please look away, thank you. Great ball acquired. Welcome in, Luke. How are you today? I don't mind a good curry, I've got to be honest. Although, at the moment, my tummy is so, so weak that anything 
even slightly psy psychic, spicy, I just read psychic from Tom Fanto there. Thank you for level 49. I was closer than normal there. I'm taking that as a win. Anything even remotely spicy at the moment is setting me off. It's not fun times. I, I want like flaming hot Mexican food and it's just not a vibe. All right, so one more trainer to go here. We're going to take on Fire Breather Ray. Will he be a ray of light for us? Well, if he burns us, then he won't be. I'm under the weather as well, unfortunately. But I saw the test yesterday. It wasn't great for you, was it? Chips and salsa? Please sign me up for chips and salsa. All right, so what do we need here? We'll get four super potions and a handful of repels. I think that's the same for a lot of people, isn't it? You, humans have this tendency to like food that is terrible for them. I am absolutely keeping hydrated. Got a nice glass of water next to me. On the bookshelf so I don't accidentally knock it over and fry my PC. Now, I'm not saying I've done that before, but I have lost PC due to water in the past. Uh, we're going to do the HM Friends later, Gemma. We're gonna do them gonna do them after Bugsy and after Rival 2. Of course we are weak to bug type moves, and Leech Life is a bug type move, so that makes Zubat a threat for once. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant too, yeah. I will eat as much lactose as I bloody like. It tastes too good. Got a pair of pesky Zubat now that will drink us. And the problem last time I seem to remember with Hypno was that ranges were everywhere. So we would get Pokemon down to like 1 HP all the bloody time. So that's going to be the thing I'm going to try and avoid this time. I'm going to overload with both Iron and Calcium for this run. Yeah, spicy food does taste good, and then 30 minutes to an hour later, the gurgling starts, doesn't it? We have been healed by Kurt. Let's now go into the gym. This is going to be one of our trickier gyms, actually. Because we are weak to the bug type, and I think even though there's only one bug type move in the entire gym, maybe, we still have to rely on this absolutely god-awful physical attack for the next couple of trainers. Let's take on, who's he? Bugcatcher Owl with the Caterpie and the Weedle. I doubt we're going to get 18 off him, but then what I'll do is I'll go round to the other side. We are poisoned for the first time in the run, so we will use an antidote there, make sure that none of the flashing occurs. Where is the antidote? There it is. We're probably going to have to heal for PP purposes anyway. So we will take on Bugcatcher Josh, see if we get a status condition on us. He does love stun sporing. Disabling Fury Cutter would be great. Oh god, we are poisoned again. Apologies, there's going to be some flashing on screen. I will let you know when the flashing stops, and the flashing has stopped. So we are fully healed. We still have... Oh, I should say we do have Confusion now, which is just in time for this trio of Poison-type Pokémon. So we'll move Confusion up to tippy-top. Because at least we get Stab. Two Fury Attack, not the worst in the world. There we go. We're actually one-shotting some things now. For safety, we're going to use a Berry, and we are going to hold a PlayStation Network Cure Berry. Let's see how Bugsy gets on. If we can either send the Scyther to sleep or disable the Fury Cutter, that would be the best possible option. I'm going to try sending him to sleep. I didn't actually mean to hit Confusion there. Goodness. Right, he's asleep. Let's try brute forcing this thing. Oh no, he woke up. What terrible RNG there. It gave and then it took away. Let's try that again, shall we? Not a zero reset run this time, but honestly, who was expecting a zero reset run with this pesky mon? I will like Jazz more once we get the punches. Eighteen twenty-one for the 
Hypadge. Monday's Vaporeon run was incredible, wasn't it? Let's take on a rival number two. At least we have something super effective for the Ghastly here. Also super effective against the Zubat, so that's no longer a threat. Let's try sending this Croconaw to sleep. And we got the confusion. We'll take the confusion. Leah, that's fine. At least it was first time rival two. Thank heavens for small mercies. Now what we're going to do is we're going to repel just here. And we will not pause the timer until we have returned Farfetch and obtained Cut. And then I must remember to unpause the timer. I've been really slack with that on this new HM friend routing. Yes, we have Cut. Thank you very much. Repel's worn off, so we'll pause the timer at 1932 and we will try and obtain our HM friends. And in a stroke of very good fortune, we have Paris first. Uh, let's see how many balls it takes to grab our Paris. And if you are new around these parts, or unfamiliar with the rules of the run, we pause the time to catch the HM friends to eliminate the elements of RNG. As we see, sometimes we get good fortune and get it first encounter. Other times we could get some terrible luck. And we have been here on stream sometimes for up to 20 minutes looking for the HM friends. So it just makes sense to puts every single Pokemon on a level playing field. So now we are looking for the 10% Psyduck. We've had two 5% Paris, how privileged of us. And once we've got the 10% Psyduck, we'll go up to the tree once more. And then we'll move on. Paris's cry is amazing, isn't it? It definitely, definitely picks up on the vibe of it being... What's the, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Kind of like a possessed fungus, isn't it? There's the side up. So let's try catching the side up now. Zombug. That that would be a great name for it, to be fair. Psyduck has played ball. Let's now very, very quickly swap Psyduck and Paris around. And actually, my numbers are getting cut off slightly on the overlay. Let me just fix that. There we go. I thought something looks a little bit off. We can now unpause the timer and do the menuing. So we'll teach Flash and Cut to Paris. That's Fury Cutter, the wrong kind of cut. We'll cut through there. And let's move those repels up to tick top spot. I have actually recorded a Paris run, but I wasn't happy with it at all. So I decided not to release it. There were a few things that... Major misplays. However, we have done a Golduck, yes. Right, so we're going to say goodbye to Pound now. Pound has served us relatively well for the early parts of the game. But Headbutt is a much, much, much better move. Grab the Ether, Grab Tother Ether as well. Pick up Sweet Scent in case we get close to a level threshold before an important battle. And let's beat up some trainers on Route 34. This Hoppip is perfectly passive, so we don't have to worry about that, and we'll, we'll use Confusion on the Ivysaur, the Bulbasaur rather than the Cubs out. So Gina has been defeated, ooh -ah, just a little bit there. Why not get rid of Disable? Because I want to keep Disable. Please don't backseat me. Please do trust that I know what I'm doing, even when I'm feeling ill. Because if we think ahead, there is a gym leader coming up with a move that increases its power every turn that it hits in a row. And that certain gym leader, if we can disable that certain move, will be an awful lot easier. We have re paused the timer now to grab ourselves an Abra. Or we could say Grabra the Abra. That as well. <laughs> that as well, Kambay. 
Congratulations, by the way, on your Ultra Ball, I have just noticed. People are getting very, very scarily close to the Master Ball tier. There's a drowsy. It's like the Spider-Man meme. There's another drowsy. Yes, rollouts for Whitney. If we disable rollout, then she'll have to settle for Stomp instead. But that gives us a chance to at least send her to sleep. Now, I do promise you that Abra exists here. It is somewhere in the grass. It's just finding the right one. Exactly. We have 45 in defense. It's terrible. Anytime you're ready, Abra. I do want to say we are on a timer. This is a live broadcast. I'm running out of things to complain about here. Welcome in, Paul. The run is definitely going moderately well, I would say. Not the best, not the worst. There's the Abra, and it's getting a lot better now that we actually have an Abra in our face. We can catch that, and then we can never pause the timer again. Well, that's a lie. We'll pause the timer for any breaks and, of course, for the league. There we go. Exactly. It's going to be one of those times, I think, Rob, where Whitney's mill tank is the threat. On, call it 90% of the runs, it's the Clefairy with its metronome that is the threat. But on this run, I reckon that Abra could cause... Abra? Miltank could cause a few headaches. Let's grab the final member of the HM Friend band. This is Kenya. The Spiro is going to be helping us out with Fly. And now let's beat up a couple of trainers before we make our way into the next gym together. Nice critical hit there. Apologies, Kim. I did have to beat up your Vulpix. Yep, yeah, Clefairy with the metronome luck. Get your predictions in now. Will will we see it go boom? It's been a long time since we've seen Clefairy blow up in front of our eyes. So I reckon, you know, we, we could be in with a chance of it happening today. Because we're not going to one-shot the Clefairy, that is for sure. And thank you for the 12 months, one whole bloody year at Pokeball Tia. Not Pokeball Tia. Yes, Pokeball Tia. Goodness me. I, I saw the Ultra Ball there, and we have been burnt by the scam of the scam of a bloody bumhead fire duck there. Thunder Wave will also give us a loss. Kinesis Flash. What move did your Toge to Togepi Togepi learn use with Metronome? I hope it was something fun. I hope it was a powerful move. Return would be nice at high friendship there. Where's the entrance to the gate? Goodness me. And yes, Haunter, I barely know her. I, I missed that there. Teleport would be fantastic. Hypno is coming soon, TM. Let's take on some others. Sheer Cold, nice. That seriously is a good move there. I mean, sometimes the obvious strategies don't don't come to you. It happens to me all the time, Sora. All the bloody time. Let's take the mail off Kenya. We'll swap Kenya and Paris. We'll swap Abra and Psyduck. We'll teleport back. And we will do a nice little safety heal. It is the Bumhead Fire Duck. Always has been, always will be. Let's, in fact, go up to... The tippy-top fluid of here. We're not quite friendly enough for return yet. But what can we sell? What aren't we going to use? We're not going to use Mud Slap. We're not going to cut furiously either. And now what we can do is we can buy one Electric Punch, one Fire Punch, and one Ice Punch. And now we have some punches for at least the first part of the run. That will give us some much-needed coverage. We'll probably swap to the punches after the Whitney battle. Do a whole load of menuing. Magmortar is a goose, I've decided. Yes, it's called Booba. Uh, it doesn't matter what Pokemon you give back for Kenya. All that matters is that the mail is being held. It's kind of weird like that. So you could steal Kenya forever and just give him a random caught Pokemon instead. But we're not Poke Thieves here. Right, I'm not feeling confident about Whitney, but we'll give her a go at level 23. Here comes the Clefairy. Clefairy slaps us twice. 
It learned headbutts. It didn't metronome. Right, cow, it's time to go sleepies. We will headbutt this thing. And we'll swap to confusion for a little bit. Stay asleep. Thank you. Whitney, you you absolute legend. I love you. Welcome in, Malik. How are you? Flame Badge in 2517. Fantastic. We might have got a little bit of concussion there from all the headbutting, but we will absolutely take that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Not difficult, difficult, lemon difficult for once. Did we pick up the quickie C? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Yes, Whitney is a fan of Carl Jobs. What a fantastic reference there. I'm not the best, not the worst, I've got to be honest. Somewhere in the middle. I'm very mid today. But I still have that smile on my face. I always do. Should probably think about getting that fixed at some point. Yeah, the, the mill tank was absolutely too tired. Don't send me to sleep, you absolute words. I cannot say on stream. Please do not commit tax fraud on my behalf. That is naughty. And I don't want the IRS on my bum. I, I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed most this week, Sora. Let's now do a cheeky little heal. We've not yet menued, which is why we haven't taught the TMs. We're just going to keep persevering until we actually have to bloody menu. Sand attack. My, my only weakness. Talking attacks, I've had my latest. Oh, you need to fill out your self-assessment. I don't have to fill it out until bloody January. I'm going to procrastinate. I've absolutely not... I've not spent enough time in bed this week. Not necessarily this month. Let's send this thing to sleep, because it is a dark type. We are a psychic type, and it's very bulky. Level 25 acquired. Let's take on the final two. And then I think, you know, we'll do a little bit of cheating. Here's Vaporeal, the absolute fantastic MVP of the runs. I didn't know there was a speedrun cheating scandal in Gen... Oh, was, was it the Gen 3 stuff? Where it turns out a lot of runs may have been a little bit fake. We have an evolution coming, and look at that. And stop looking at it because it's creepy. Welcome in, John. How are you? My week's been okay, thank you. Not the best, not the worst, but definitely somewhere in the middle. How has your week been? That is absolutely the much more important question. Now, I do apologise for the Hypno Sprite on screen. There's now I can do about it. Well, I could have chosen not to run it, I suppose, but blame 2022 me for that. And yet again, we still haven't had to menu so. Excuse me, my tummy there really did try and just jump out of me. We still haven't had some menus, so we're not teaching the punches quite yet. Cheating done? Oh god, I was one tile in the grass, not towel. You didn't have to do that, that's very rude of you. Lunchtime... After stream, it'll be lunchtime for me. I think I might actually treat myself to some fajitas, because if, I, if I'm feeling bad anyway, I might as well take the extra little bit of pain and have some food I actually want. Nidikin getting a little bit horny there with its horn attack. Let's run away from that quickly as possible. Squidgy movement, please. Grab the fill restore there. Yeah, knocked out. Hello there. Twenty is a perfectly cromulent serving size of Macca's nug nuggets, isn't it? Twenty is the perfect portion. Add a couple of bit, a couple of boxes of large fries, maybe a chicken mayo without the mayo. Life is good. I did the other day have a pesky KFC, and very much over eight. Did regret it afterwards, but uh, we'll do it all over again next month. Right, now we're in the menu, so what will we do with Drunken Sailor? 
Uh, yes, we did throw Noctowl, and Noctowl was one of very few Pokémon to defeat Red on its first attempt. One of my favourite runs, actually, was that Noctowl one. So we are going to change up all these moves. We're going to get all the punches, going to get those boxing gloves out. And now we are purely a special attacker. So let's teleport all the way back to Ecratic City. And we will try taking on the arrival now. We should have good enough coverage. Ooh, butter chicken. Enjoy it if you do order it. How many repels do we have left? We've got two repels. We've just had some terrible luck right at the end. With my rule set banning rare candies until at the very end, until we've given it a go, it is less likely for me to have a zero reset run than some other runners. But that's the beauty of challenge running. Everybody has their own different rule sets. And the reason we have the arrival with the uh, Totodile line, by the way, is because it learns a dark type move, so it has super effective moves against us. Will confusion away that Zuma absolutely easy as pie. And then we do need to menu again, actually, to teach Harris its next HM moves. The back sprite is pretty cool. I will concede that about Hypno. It's still not one of my favourite Pokemon. Paris, you're going to learn Dig, my friend. And what do we want? We want Flash, Dig, Cut at the moment. Yes, quadruple special moves. We are going very much classic Pokemon player here. All out attack, not bothering at all with any status move at all. Into the game we go. We have 25 confusions to make it through this gym. And what I will do as well is I will swap to the quickie C. So we will have some quick claw action. I am hoping that good old, but good old, what's his face? Morty will not use hypnosis. In fact, I just had an idea. Call me silly for this, but we have rock smash. We can Rock Smash on the Paris. Let's get rid of Scratch. And in here... Uh, yes, the Vaporeon run on Monday was a zero reset run. We have a HP up there. And that HP up can be very handy for us for the Morty battle. Going to give the Quickie C now to good old Jazz. And the reason I'm getting that HP up is to try and make it less likely that Morty will use status moves, such as Hypnosis. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Just came up with that idea literally, what, 30 seconds ago, but we will have to see. It works with Karen. It could work with Morty. I think they share very similar AI. And for some reason, my brain always gets Morty, Chuck, and Price the wrong way around, and I have no idea why. Yes, the Quickie C. That is a Bellsprout-ism. Good old Sombrero Pharaoh. He calls it the Quickie C, and I've kind of picked it up from there, from him. Right, let's see if this strategy is worth its weight in gold, or if it's just a bit crap, really. So as you can see, we have 97 out of 98, 98 HP. So that means that we are not at full HP. He still went for Hypnosis. Big, big bum in the face there. Dream Eater's fine, though. It's if he went for Shadow Ball, I'd be concerned. Although I am a little bit concerned, actually, that we're staying asleep all this time. For goodness sake, wake up. and Get a bit of my insomnia. There we go. The Haunter's fine. We barely knew her. Fog Badge. In 3353. Yes, we went up to 101 out of 102 after the level up. Let's now take on Sailor Harry and his Whooper. We will go whoop whoop as we knock it out. And I didn't want to get last Anod, but we got last Anod. Interesting little factoid as well. With the confusion power being 50, and with it being stab, all of our moves, if they're neutral, hit with the same power. Yes, in Gen 3, it couldn't be put to sleep, and the world was the best place for that. I would like to do an Insomnia run at some point. Where the bloody hell's that nugget gone? There it is. Goodness. And I'm going to take a leaf out of Snowy's book, I think, for this run, and try not healing as much. As I am absolutely an obsessive healer. And I reckon I lose around about 10 minutes a run through unnecessary heals. 
We're also going to try and take on a few fewer trainers than normal. So we'll only take on Derek at the moment. We won't say hello to God's Truth Ruth. I think we'll skip him as well. So now we're in Olivine at the 35 minute mark. Yes, Confusion is Psychic Punch if you've got Psychic Type on your... Or Psychic Type as one of your two types. What do we need in here? We will get ourselves 11 of the Super Repels and two more just for good luck. Top of our Super Potions and we will leave. I said I wasn't going to heal. It's going to take some time. Watch this bite me in the bum. But Hypno's mid anyway, so we might as well test out ideas on this particular run. Welcome in Horizon. Nice to see you smiling. Right, Growlithe could be a bit of, bit of a pain in the bum if we can't one-shot it. So we'll have to try and one-shot it. We one-shot that one. It does know Raw, though, and Raw is bad. I mean, for the leaderboard, he is mid. There's no disputing that. He's going to be mid-table. Welcome in, YY. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. You worked on your motorbike today. I hope you had a great time working on it. What were you doing with it? I've got to be honest, I know absolutely nothing about motorbikes. I have seen a lot of certain parts of the US are getting some absolutely horrific weather at the moment, aren't they? The physical special split, the special splits, I should say, from Gen 1 really did screw over Hypno. Yes, they do have two wheels. Get ourselves strength so we don't get stranded over on Cyanwood. Mid to me is middle of the road. It's in it's in the word. It's mid. Use one more repel. And let's cross the open seas. Yes, for you, Kambe, I know that bad weather is anything above about, like, 15 degrees. I hope you have a lot of fun riding on the motorcycle. I hope you have some nice routes planned out, or you could just go with the flow. We're just built different. Goodness, driving a semi through the horrible weather sounds absolutely atrocious. I really hope the roads are safe for you. That's a question, how old is Kurt? Is there a canonical answer to that? Let's move Confusion up to tippy top for this. 19 and partially cloudy. Let me lean back to look at my weather station. Absolutely not poison gas. 17.3 outside here. Closest I've got to driving anything is actually playing Euro Truck Simulator. Which isn't the same. Although I do know a lot of truckers enjoy playing Euro Truck Simulator. It's kind of like the equivalent of a busman's holiday, isn't it? I suppose actually where you are, I don't know obviously the specific part of Finland, but I beg your pardon, Kambe. I don't know the specific part of Finland, but yeah, I can see the climate there being not conducive to a riding a motorbike very often. At least we are in the part of the year now in the Northern Hemisphere where the days are longer than the nights. We're in that kind of mid-ground at the moment where it's a happy medium. I know that at least in my part of the UK, call it a month's time and we will never get anything uh, past nautical twilight. Once again, we have been hit by the confusion there. Uh, by, uh, by the sleep there, rather. American Truck Simulator's fun. I prefer Euro Truck, though, just because I can drive on the left-hand side of the road. Let's mint berry. I was hoping not to have to menu here. More vacation would always help everybody. Karate Chop critical hit did next to nothing. 
going to Thunder Punch first turn. And of course, the time we don't use, or the time we do add the Mint Berry, is the one time where he doesn't even attempt to send us to sleep. Your husband's a scam artist. Please, please go and have words with him. Let's teach Fly now to Kenya. Move Kenya up to there. We'll go and take Secret Potion to Jazz. I feel like British weather is relatively boring compared to other, type, other parts of the world. We don't get much in the way of any kind of extremes. Terrell is down. Let's now take on Jazz in a moment. Oh, let's see how we get on. Oh no, your your first vacation your vacation count reset all the way back down. Yes, early jazz with jazz. Ooh, a cruise in May sounds very, very fun. Iron Tail Mist, thank you, Jazz. And no secret potioning ways today. Mineral badge in 4123. Yes, that 40 degrees was a little bit ludicrous, wasn't it? That was July 2022 that happened. Now, as far as I'm aware, this should be a one-shot. If I was speaking selfishly, I'd love 40 degrees summers in the UK, but for everybody else, and for the whole climate thing, I'd rather we didn't. Right, Lance says beating someone up because he's just that awful like that. And we have the choice of punches for this part of the run. Two hundred and thirty is not bad at all. I've been looking at flights to Cyprus, and they're looking at what one two hundred pounds each way. I haven't heard Hypno's lullaby, and I think I'd like to keep it that way. Sounds creepy. My trouble with going on holiday anywhere is I really don't like flying. I have really, really, really bad claustrophobia and being locked in on a metal tube for up to five and a half hours at least to Cyprus. Not my vibe at all. Lance using some secret potion on us. Venonat. Going to get the voiceover for Venonat done hopefully over this weekend if I'm feeling better. I've tried like three or four times now. I've got a couple of sentences in and the exhaustion has hit. I didn't go on, to, on a plane until my early 20s. I went to Malta, I think, in 2013. That was my first time on a, on a plane. Terrified the entire way through. Is Hypno the one that steals people's dreams or is that drowsy? Welcome in, Just a Weeb. You are here for the first slog of the run. Nothing too major has happened so far. See, I'm very tall, so the idea of a night flight where I'm supposed to sleep with absolutely no leg room, it's just not happening. Christmas markets are a lot of fun. I would highly recommend those. I do want to, at some point, have the savings in my bank account for if, say for instance, the Northern Lights happens, I can just very much, very quickly get on a flight and see them. Oh, Hypno's the child thief. Good to know, I will keep this Hypno at arm's length. First class has legroom, but I'm not first class anything, let's be honest here. 
Uh, I just fancied trying to get all the HM friends in one solid block. So by getting them before Goldenrod City, I was able to consolidate what I was doing in my own head because it got very confusing. Yes, having that coverage just a weeb really does help. Tallinn is just over the water from Helsinki, isn't it? I'm fairly certain there's a ferry that goes between the two cities. Have you tried going to Principal Skinner's Kitchen to see the Aurora Borealis? I believe that's where it's located. Alright, so that's Slog 1 done. Let's get ourselves into Price's Gym. We've been caught by Douglas for the first time in a while. Welcome in, Alex. Absolutely everyone's favourite section of Gen 2. He wouldn't let me... <laughs> I, I like... I like the four different responses to that reference. That is fantastic. You all need to give yourselves a fantastic pat on the back. Well, while I punch some seals in the face. Right, that's enough seal clubbing. Let's take on the pile of swine. Oh, God. Wait, never mind. He didn't hyper potion. He's just that bad. Thank you, Price. Glacier badge acquired. Yes, Principal Skipper is very, very privileged to have the Aurora Borealis in his house. Welcome in, Man Mante? Dante, rather. How are you today? Yes, the days will be getting very long. Probably 15, 16 hours where you are, you see. Yes, all of the moves count to 75 power. We noticed that a little bit earlier on. Apart from Ice Punch, which is still showing us 84 power for some reason. Not sure why. Job searching, I wish you nothing but the best for the job search. Having done many job searches in my life and also having worked in the Department of Work and Pensions, it's not fun from either side. Honestly, so did I. I struggled with the rocket sections. Oh, that's right, I got Price's badge. So we get the 10% boost to Ice Punch. Doi. You don't hear much of Doi these days, do you? Is it 10% or is it 12.5%? I can never remember. And because we have Rock Smash, we can get the Nevermelt Ice the quick way. Use some more Super Repels. We'll get the Iron, because our Hypno is old and wrinkly, and somebody should Iron him. We'll get the PP up. We'll use that on Psychic later. We'll do a cheeky little heal here in Blackthorn. We will buy our max repels, because we need them for the Kanto section. We'll get ourselves 15 of those. Iron helps Hypno play! And we'll do a little bit of housekeeping. Welcome in, GG. I hope you're having a great time with work. And I hope that the earthquake was not too out of the blue. Paris has learned Rock Smash. So I know there was an earthquake just under New Jersey while I was live on Monday. If my geography is correct, New Jersey and New York are very close together. Yes, the rocket section is full of rats, which you'd think I'd like being Rattata's number one fan, but even I don't like it. Maybe if they were a, <laughs> were a Lolan. Darn vegetables.
That's very fair. I'm glad that you didn't feel it. I remember feeling the tiny little tremor here in 2008. I practically crapped myself then. I was so scared. Which, considering I was 17 at the time, was a bit of a wuss. The creepy hypnotist is going creepy. And how are you today, Dan? I hope you managed to get some sleep and I hope the cat didn't pester you in the night. Alright, we don't need the six pockle balls. What TMs aren't we going to use? We're going to keep Dynamic Punch. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Keep Return. Keep that. Get rid of Detect. Get rid of Rest. Get rid of Falling in Love. How much money do we have? We've got 62,000. So what we'll do is we'll go downstairs now. And let's buy... Goodness, how many should we get? Let's get ourselves five calcium. And then a single iron as well. We'll use the protein. We will use the two iron. And then we'll use the five calcium. There we go. We will leave here now. And let's take on the rockets. I tried to escape this canto, but it's down at the moment. You slept a bit and the cat hates you. Thank you for popping in, GG. Always a pleasure, never a chore to see you in chat. And I hope to see you tomorrow as well for more Nuzlocke Fridays. Now, we do have a poll coming up when we've defeated this run as to what type of Nuzlocke's we're doing. Because I built this randomizer, so we could do a randomizer, randomizer Nuzlocke. Or, we could instead do another gift lock run. But I will wait to show you the features that are currently in before deciding on what we do. Steamed hams are absolutely not Krusty Burgers, no. That is a nasty misconception by Krusty Burger. Talking of Krusty, does anyone remember that Little's Crisps in the UK used to be called Krusty Crop? Welcome in, Johan. How are you today? God, the craving now for McDonald's is so, so high. Talking of all these burgers, I don't even eat red meat. I want a burger. Krusty Burger was your nickname in college. If I went to college, it would probably have been my nickname too. I went straight into casino work when I was younger. Talking about the Voisin de Zero, Tier de Salandre, Orphelin. I really do want to visit Sweden at some point. I'm thinking maybe go to Copenhagen and Malmö together. Because so I think there's just a bridge separating them. GG says a randomizer. So I will put... Because you're probably not going to be around for the part of the stream where we do the votes, GG. I will put my vote on to the randomizer. No break yet. We're going to do our break after Claire. That is when we will do our first break of the run. And hopefully the only break of the run. Why am I trying to cycle indoors? I'm not a vandal. And I do know that Malmö is where the Eurovision is being held this year. In fact, in around about a month's time. A moose once bitch your, bit, bitch your sister? No, bit your sister. I hope a moose didn't bitch your sister. I've got visions of moose now bitch slapping with its antlers. We 
will say Sneasel, please all there. And once again, we're having this situation with Hypno, where our low special attack is proving to be a bit of our undoing. There's a Moose Loose about this who's, yes, in the remakes you do get to wear a rocket uniform. I might try doing that in a custom ROM at some point. I still can't get the idea of this moose just giving someone a right bip around the chops with an antler now. I mean, to be fair, a mo if mooses are mooses, meese, moose are afraid of people in general, that's kind of like me. I have never seen Monty Python. I know, for shame, but it's never been on my radar. No, we do want to turn it on, actually. The only line I can remember, actually, from Monty Python at the moment is, My nipples explode with delight. Which isn't a sentence I ever thought I'd be saying here on YouTube. But there we go. We're nearly through the radio tower now. This trainer's kind of like where I feel we're towards the end. Using the elixir there to uh, help with PP purposes. I like Tentacruel. That run's coming out soonish. Hopefully by the end of the month, if not early May. Welcome in, what looked well. How are you today? Good a day to you too. Tentacruel absolutely is underrated. The trouble is, its learn set at the beginning of Gen 2 is diabolical. Middle of August is my second year anniversary. I think it's like the 15th of August for the two years. On this channel, anyway. Alright, we can't use any more calcium. However, we can get some protein. And where are the bits I want to sell? I want to sell Sleep Talk. And what else do I want to sell that we're not going to use anymore? There we go. I do want to get an extra Thunder Punch. Yes, yeah, slow experience constraints and pretty naff growth rate. Let's go back up to the tippy top of the tower now. Constrict is the absolute worst. It's one of the reasons why the Omanite run got canned. I don't celebrate Mother's Day. And we've already done Kangaskhan. Sora Donald Goofy, thank you so much for the super chat. What are the origins of my name? Goodness. Oh, I'm going to have to open up the memory banks here because I've been squidgy for... Bloody hell, about 13, 14 years. It came from a group of friends who the acronym was SQ and G. And so that just became squig to squidgy.
I did the big brain here. We're only three levels off Psychic. And we needed something that could one-shot this Houndoom. So what we'll do is we will can the uh, Thunder Punch for Psychic. So I think Thunder Punch is the least useful of them. We'll get the Pink Bow off Marie while we're here. Dynamic Punch would one-shot Houndoom, but then we'd be stuck with Dynamic Punch on the learn set. And it's only 50% accurate. Let's fly back to Blackthorn now. And we will take us first break after Claire, I think. Yes, the amulet coin is useless this time, user. I've only just seen that. Uh, we can't learn a choose a move, and we're pretty much stocked full of all the vitamins I want at the moment anyway. A nice bit of shared thinking there between you, Adrian, and Alex. I love it when that happens. Uh, Hypno has a little backpack of boxing gloves, and he picks the element on the boxing glove for each of the types. That's the cano that's the canonical thing in my runs. The punches are actually just boxing gloves you buy. Good news, we one shot the Dragonair. Please do not backseat me. I know what I'm doing. We need Fire Punch for the Fortress. Thank you for popping in, YY. I hope you have a wonderful time with work. Hope the roads are safe for you. We we got scammed and then she scammed us. No, the other way around. We got scammed and then we scammed her. Goodness me, brain. Oh, welcome and enjoy, Gengar. I'm glad you're sitting back in your chair. I hope you're very, very, very comfortable there. In the words of the Ting Tings, that's not my name. That's not my name. What time am I streaming till today? Around about half past five, maybe. Depending on the good old energy levels. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people forget that Fortress is is there. It's like on one trainer's team. And Pineco's not in the grass. Pal, strategy, tough, love... And both, thank you very much. And the rising badge is... 10407. Have a good time with work, Kanbei. Thank you so much for popping in. Always a pleasure, never a chore to see your face around. And we are going to be taking our very first break of the run when we're in front of New Bark Town. So we will pause the timer at 104.35 and I will give you your alert that adverts are coming. So if you're on headphones especially, please do turn the volume down just a little bit in case they are loud. So I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching the first part. I will catch you all in a few minutes time.
And we are back, ready and raring to go for the league. Thank you so much for your patience there. I just need to get my screen back reorganised. We'll get the timer back up. And we'll be on our way. We have just taken our first steps into Kanto. Aren't we privileged? I tried to avoid good old Megan here, and every time I get hit by her. So I'll just have to punch her Bulbasaur line with some ice. Nice one shot there on the Venusaur. Psychic, yes please. Oh, goodbye Thunder Punch. We do have another Thunder Punch TM in the bag, by the way, in case we decide to use that for red. And where are those Max Repels? There they are. Let's get those up to Tippy Top. While we're in the menu, we're go going to change the held item to the Mintberry. And we are also going to toss that because we can't use it. We're going to use the PP Ups in Psychic. I almost clicked to return, yeah, which would have been bad. That would have been a colossal misplay. So now we have normal fire, ice, and psychic on our learn set. I think that gives us neutral coverage to everything we're going to come up against. Because we have return for the water psychics. And we've got ice for the grass mons. We've got return for the normal psychics as well. Pretty good coverage. The good thing is a lot of the water types we're coming up against aren't that bulky in the physical defense department. And with return now being max power, although I shouldn't have used return there, that was laziness. With return being max power, we should be absolutely fine for most Pokemon coming up anyway. Psychic on the Quillfish, knock those out in a very, very quick time. And why did I Ice Punch Susan? That means the moves are in the wrong order. Let's put Return there. I'll swap Return and Psychic on the next battle. I must remember to bike this section more. We skipped Joyce! I'm so happy! We never skipped Joyce! There we go, Psychic up to Tippy Top. Flareon won't be scary on there. And it is a bit of a poo, actually, that we don't get the Twisted Spoon in this run. Yes, Max Power is here. I think the fact that they're only base 75 power does balance them out a little bit. It is a joy joyous occasion. Is this a range? No, it's a one shot. Fantastic. Get the third and final maxi mixer there, and then we will go into Victory Road. Yes, in the remakes, it's Tuscany of Tuesday's item, but we're not that privileged here. Now we're going to get one of the most important vitamins of the run, that HP up there. We cannot learn Earthquake, so we'll go straight to the rival. I've never seen a Twisted Spoon on a Wild Abra. That's not to say it doesn't exist. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. But I have a feeling it might have to be a traded one from Gem 1. Haunter. I barely know her. We'll return the Kadabra with its paper thin defences. Final Pokemon is for Alligator, maybe final, who knows. It does get a little bit tedious when I have to keep changing the day. There are some people who've been very clever and changed it on the overlay. So the day changes uh, determined by where they are on the map. But in the meantime, we will say thank you to Kenya, Abra, Psyduck, and Paris. We'll also say thank you to all you lovely people with the green names in the chat. We'll get blocked by that trainer there. We'll grab our four full restores. We'll do a save. And we'll take on the league. So what are we playing with? We are level 52 with 174 HP. 
We're holding the Quickie C with Psychic, Ice Punch, Fire Punch and Return. 117 in attack, 110 in defense, 118 in special attack, a whopping 162 in special defense, and we have 107 in speed. Hitmonlee is going to be interesting because we're going to have to start as a Ty Rogue, and I cannot stand Ty Rogue. Yes, setup moves can make a big difference. But with a Pokemon like Hypno, it's probably not worth doing the setting up. This is one of the bigger threats. Amnesia is good. We like seeing Amnesia. Do not paralyze me. Thank you, Slowbro. Bit of a sloppy will fight at the end there, but we got through relatively quickly. Let's use a full restore. Tyrogan, great, but Cleffer and Igglybuff also exist. Right, this is a poison type specialist. We are a psychic type Pokemon, but we also have a fireboxing glove. Yeah, Pichu's not good. I can't stand Pichu. Haha, we hit through your double team, Koga. Koga, easy as pie there. Bruno is next. One shot on the hit on top. Out comes the Onyx. We will ice punch the Onyx. Back to Psychic for the Machamp. Gets a teeny tiny smidgen of damage from the Hitmonchan. That just leaves Hitmonlee left to go. It can't hit us. And goodbye to Bruno there. Let us use another full restore. Where's that HP up? There it is. So now we are not on max HP for Karen. Let's see if this can make the difference between a clean fight and a dirty fight. Confuse Ray into Faint Attack isn't what I was expecting, and we are hitting ourselves an awful lot here. Goodness me, the RNG. Welcome in, Marcus. Thank you very much for your kind words. That is a very, very nice thing for you to say. There we go. We've been Faint Attacked a couple of times. That's perfectly cromulent. Psych up, no thank you. Murkrow next. We have a punch with ice on it, so let's do that. Houndoom could hurt us a little bit, maybe. It's crunch time and a spadef drop. Oh dear. Gengar should be a one-shot with Psychic. Who do we have left? Is it just Vileplume? We should outspeed. We should one-shot. We are absolutely flying through Karen. Only the one a reset, I believe. For safety purposes now, we are going to give the Nevermelt Ice. I think Fire Punch has probably... No, actually, Fire Punch has not outstayed its welcome, but we can buy another one in Golden Rod, so we will use Thunder Punch for the next battle. And where's that Nevermelt Ice, before I forget? Goodness, this mess of crap in the bag. Did I already put it on? I already put it on. Max Repel time. Let's go. This is Lance, the lie with the Flyers. And he leads with Gyarados. Thunder Punch, full time super effective. Do the maths, it's a one shot. Dragonite comes out to play. Ice Punch, full time super effective. It's a one shot. He's going to try again with another Dragonite because he's not learnt. Scaradoxal comes out, and Ice Punch is probably the best move to use here. Close, but no banana to a one-shot. We will swap to Thunder Punch for the Zard. Wing Attack will do a little bit of damage. And then that just leaves the last Dragonite left to go. It's Ice Punch for the win. And Lance is defeated. Time of 1-14-12. And yes, Smoochamalekid and Magby are very, 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 very good baby Pokemon.
League time of 1.14.29. Let's reset now. And let's unpause the timer and get the last part of today's run underway. SS tickets acquired. Let's cycle all the way back to Cherry Grove to retrieve our HM friends. So it says a warm welcome back to Kenya, Abra, Psyduck, and Paris. They all had a lovely little rest in the Costel PC box. Let's go to Goldenrod City. The, the emphasis is on the O in Goldenrod. A wrong store. There we go. Correct store. Gonna get three of each now. Just make sure that we are not up the creek without a paddle. And off to Ecrity we go. We're going to go into Mount Mortar. We're going to get the first of two rare candies left in the Johto region. Don't need a defense girl this time, so we'll get out of there. Now we're going to go over to Olivine City. Dip ahead of the PMC, of course. And hope we don't get Swimmer Georged. We did not, in fact, get Swimmer Georged. Fantastic. We will flash once more. Rare candy acquired. Dig out of there. Fly back to New Park. Grab the rare candy over here. Teleport back to Olivine. And we'll get ourselves onto the boat. Yes, Clefable is good. But starting with a Clefa is pain, misery, suffering. Generally a bit crap. This battle should be no issue whatsoever. And we have landed in Vermilion City. Teleports off the dock here. And of course, the first thing we do in Kanto is the last thing we do in Johto. We're getting another rare candy, this time from the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. While we're in the neighborhood, we might as well take on Lieutenant Surge. Because he is local, of course. And before we take on Surge, there is one thing I want to do, and that is replace Thunder Punch back with Fire Punch. reason for that is the Magnemite line could prove to be a little bit tricky if we don't have that. Now, this is going to be a range here, so we're going to take a reset and try Return, because Return might be better. So I think Pikachu, or I should say Raichu, has slightly worse physical defense. It does. Swap back to Psychic for the Electrode. Magneton comes out. This is the reason why we have Fire Punch again. Electrode will swap back to Psychic. Hidden Power hasn't seen any action at all in this run. No. There was a reason I had Hidden Power Water, and I think it was for the Houndoom line. In case Psychic didn't quite match up. In terms of uh, in terms of leveling up, uh, depending on how quick or slow I played through the game, so Hidden Power Water was very much a backup that we have not needed. So leveling curve played ball. We have no space left. What shall we toss? Probably not going to use the Mint Berry. We will give it to Kenya. Grab that PP up because we absolutely want to increase the PP 
of not return, psychic. There we go, a lot more PP in that. And onwards and upwards into Erica's gym. Starting off with a Victory Bell, one of my favourite Pokemon, actually. And those of you who are playing Pokemon Go, don't forget that on the 20th of April, it is Bellsprout's Community Day. So if you like a good old Bellsprout, that would be the day to go and try and get a shiny one in Go. Poor old Paris. All of these moves are guaranteed one-shots. The line's just bad. Alright, Erica, do your worst, please. We'll start off with a nice punch because we still have the Never Melt Ice on our Hypno. Excuse me, my tummy is not playing ball today, is it? On our Hypno, we will Ice Punch the Blossom, although it's a range. Got very lucky there. And Erica is defeated in 120-41. And now, Janine is normally a pushover anyway, but I think we might have to come up with a different word for her today. Because pushover is going to be an understatement. Let's go and find her. We'll have to take on Bob beforehand. Parasex absolutely needs some kind of evolution. It needs something. Just anything at this point. Bob is down, so that means we can head into the Future Gym. And in Future, of course, we have Janine Koga's daughter waiting for us. Lovely bit of nepotism here. Not even going to give her the credit of commentating this one. Instead, I'm going to check to see what football's on tonight. Oh, it's Europa League, is it? Liverpool at Atalanta. It's probably going to be the game I watch, if any. I might be in bed by then, who knows? Future Sight! Risking it and saying no thank you there. And there we go. Janine is done. I need to get, like, the horoscopes up. Oh, or just some kind of nonsense to read out during some of the less interesting sections. Let's get ourselves to Saffron City. Doubt we're going to forget Psychic, but it is here. So we might as well grab the Psychic TM. Mandatory trainer here, but he only has a Machamp, and we are Psychic type, so you do the maths. Use a Matrapel here. Paris Flash for me, please. Thank you very much. Dip our heads in that PMC. And let's chat with the manager. Over 25 Paris can be KO'd by a solar power Charizard with one Fire Blast. Goodness. Poor, poor Paris. Possibly the most screwed over Pokemon, at least of early gens. Alright, let's take on Sabrina, shall we? No Spadef drop there, which is good. It's going to be a range on the Mr. Mine, but we just about knock out. Alakazam should be a one-shot. And we have the superior Psychic Pokemon, 123-42. Dry Skin makes it triple weak to fire. Why do they hate Paris so much? That's the question that should be on everybody's lips. What did Paris do to deserve this mistreatment? Am I right in thinking that Jinx also gets Dry Skin? If she does, she should maybe think about some Pseudocrem. Dudley's down. Let's take on Lass Ellen. She's got a Wigglytuff and a Granbull. Two very middle-of-the-road normal-type Pokemon. 
both very much outclassed by Ursaring in this generation. It's Tangler. I'm not a fan of Tangler. Dry Skin is Jinx's hidden ability. Why on earth would anybody go for a hidden ability Jinx then? Because aren't the other abilities Forewarn and Oblivious for Jinx? Good afternoon, Cernic. How are you today? I'm a little bit better, still under the weather, but powering through. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, if I feel even vaguely up to talking, I will do the stream. For you stats people out there, we dealt 608 HP towards these, both of these Paris. And that has dropped to 412 HP for the Parasect. Still more than enough to knock it out. I love Porygon, but we've got to knock you out. Nugget Bridge is completed. We can be rejoicing now. Where's me Max Elixir? We'll just use a regular Elixir, seeing as that was closest in the menu. And we will fly back to Cerulean City now. Take on Misty. She is going to be our water type leader. I think she's the 12th leader of the run, if I've done my maths correctly. And we'll start off with a Psychic on the Golduck. Swap to a Thunder Punch on the Starmie. Back to Psychic for the Quagsire. And then we will finish off with a Thunder Punch on the Lapras. Didn't get frozen by Blizzard there, which is good. Because that means we have defeated Misty on our first try. Cascade Badge in 126.37. Machine Parts acquired. Let's head back to the Power Plant. And off we go. Max Repel, and while we're here, do we have a full restore? Yes, we do. I'm trying to consolidate the menuing here, and now we'll use one of our two remaining Max Elixirs. And looking at the time that we have done for this, it's very much showing that the low special attack is the reason why we're probably not, well, definitely not going to get sub 130. We were two-shotting a lot of Pokemon. Yes, Zap Cannon. We may run it. We'll see how the red fight goes. Zap Cannon will be super effective against two of Red's Pokemon. And we will, of course, be able to say RIP Dave in the chat. But I don't want to use it quite yet. Electric is the best time to go in for with Red, though. Having that double super effective. And we are now taking on our very good friend of the Channel 3 drill, giving us some much-needed experience. Dyna Dynamic Punch is super effective against Snorlax, you're not wrong. I do. There is, a, there is a reason I've kept both of those TMs. I'm hoping I don't need to use them, but they are very much my we're-in-a-pickle backup TMs. Brock, it's time for you to give me a badge. Don't particularly want to fight you. But we will do it out of courtesy. He is, of course, our 13th gym leader together. And has a four times weakness to grass on everything. He needs to learn about team balancing, get himself a Scaradactyl or something. Boulder Badge in 128.51. Got a bit of cycling now to go as we head towards Viridian City and eventually Cinnabar Island. Let's dip our heads in the PMC here so we get a teleport spot. Use a Max Repel. Hidden Power Fighting gives us absolutely trash DVs. 
And Hidden Power Fighting would probably do about the same amount of damage as a return at that level. When you factor in DVs. I believe that Hidden Power Fighting is the worst DV spread you can get for any of the Hidden Powers. It's not good. Right, Blaine, give me a badge. Macargo, you're going to be a one-shot. Bumhead Fired Up comes out for the second time. And the Rapid Ash is a range, but Fire Blast misses. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Goodbye, Rapid Ash. Volcano Badge in 130.05. Let's TP back. And let's go and say hello to Blue. He's going to be our final gym leader of the run. He's going to lead with Pidgeot. Ice Punch, even with an FML Ice, is not quite a one-shot. And up next is Alakazam. Again, we're getting those high, high ranges. But then Rhydon comes out, and it's just a bit naff, isn't it? <laughs> one-shot with Ice Punch. Thunder Punch the Gyarados. Executor comes out to play. We'll Ice Punch this. And that just leaves Arcanine left to go. Flamethrower doesn't burn. He doesn't heal. Happy days through blue in a relatively easy battle. 130-106 for the Earth Badge. Let's get ourselves over to Newbark Town now and have a little chat with Oak. And now let's teleport all the way back to Viridian City. Gonna chop down this tree and we are going to grab ourselves Dream Eater. This is another backup strat for the Snorlax. If we can get him to go to sleep, we can then eat all of his delicious health and regain it as HP. Set our TP spot in there. Final rare candy of the run. Let's move those up to the tippy top part of the bag. We will give the leftovers to Jazz. Max Elixir. And full restore. The Snorlax has rest. Therefore, the Snorlax can still have its dreams eaten. So let's now save in front of Red. We're going to set, set the Rare Candies up to tippy top spot. And let's see how we get on. Starting off against Pikachu. Charm's not the best, but we will see how we get on. This is more of a reconnaissance mission here. Because we do have a lot of bulk behind us. Right, so that would be 50-ish percent, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Right, I think we're going to rare candy straight away here. Get ourselves up to level 67, let's try again. Still not a one-shot on this Pikachu. But you never know, we could get lucky and get a Spadef drop. Which we have done. That'll mean we'll get to see how we are with the Espeon without being charmed. Reflect throws the spanner in the works there. Let's instead try punching it with ice. Gonna try stalling the Snorlax here, but a body slam knocks us out. I tend to agree there that physical attacks are better for red, but with a Pokemon like Hypno, our physical attack 
being the same as our special attack. And that being not great to begin with, we're better off with the status chances that we can often get off the special attacks. Because with Stab Psychic, for instance, it's still a range on that Pikachu at level 70. Yeah, that's hopeless. I'm just going to stick in the last four rare candies. I said it at the end of the first run of Hypno, if it had like five more in each stat, it would be a completely different run. We do now outspeed the Pikachu, so we do have a small mercy there. A very nice crit on the Pesquion lets us at least see the Snorlax. Let's Ice Punch it. Try and get the Freeze. Right, a critical hit. Let's have a think now. I don't think we want Ice Punch. Let's get ourselves a Dynamic Punch, shall we? You know what? Well, we're at it. Zap Cannon as well. Actually, we'll wait on the Zap Cannon. Because we've not seen how much Thunder Punch does yet. Now, we actually want the Espeon to use Psychic here as opposed to... Well, we wanted to use it if it doesn't drop our bloody special defense. We've hit the Dynamic Punch. It takes over half health off. And he hits himself in Confusion. We miss, but he hits himself in confusion. That means that Return is now got a guaranteed one shot. Blame Thrower did a lot of damage there. Goodness me. And we get knocked out by Sir. My goodness, this is tricky at red, isn't it? And this is with the leftovers as well, don't forget. But we don't have the Spadef drop this time. Dynamic Punch hits. Amnesia's fine. Dynamic Punch missed. Body Slam has hit though, which is bad. Dynamic Punch misses again. Risking return, we ranged, but he hits himself, fantastic. Back on the Zard, but this time our Spadef isn't dropped, so that's doing a lot less damage now. Would have been nice to get the Paralysis, instead we get the Burn, which isn't good. RNG is not in our favour at the moment. And we get knocked out by Surf yet again. He used Reflect there. I'm just going to pause the time for a quick second. Actually, no, never mind. We don't have the slot for a HP up. Let's use the correct move there, Squidge. It's been a while since we've had a tough battle at red, I've got to be honest. This is making up for the Vaporeon run. No Spadef drop again is very good. Dynamic Punch has hit. Body Slam's paralyzed, for goodness sake. Dynamic Punch is very, very useful for the Snorlax, I will be honest. It might only be 50-50, but that's better than a lot of cases. Now, we absolutely cannot let that Espeon use Reflect. Reflect is what we don't want for Espeon. Right, it's gone to sleep. Interesting. That should knock out the pesky Snorlax and we are back onto the Zard.
80 HP for the Blastoise. Surf takes us down into the low 40s. We critical hit though, and that just leaves Venusaur left to go. Psychic hits it, takes it deep down. It's taken in sunlight. We are through in 139.43. That crit absolutely 100% mattered. Goodness me. One thirty nine forty three for the hypno. It was a redo and it was done on stream. So let's get the wonderful leaderboard made by the fantastic Kangastan. Let's get that generated, shall we, and see where we end up on the leaderboard. Now I will tell you, because our splits were messed up, the original time was two eleven fifty. So we have saved half an hour on the Hypno run there. Finished at the exact same level, level 75, with just over half the number of resets. We had 30 resets. You do get the shout out, Stan. I'm forever mentioning you. You know that. Even when you're not in the chat. Anyway, leaderboard should have generated up by now. And it's looking like we are a page two Pokemon for the streams. We are in 36th place, just ahead of Azumarill, just behind Toga Togedemaru. I am happy with that one, and we also do want to check where we are on the main run leaderboard, don't we? Or should I say the all run leaderboard? So let's get that up, and we are in 87th place. In between Kingler's Redo and Miltank. Very, very good positioning there for Hypno. And if we have a look, I'm assuming the other one is on page 5 at this point. So let's see where Hypno originally was on the leaderboard. As you can see, 134th place. So we've saved just shy of 50 places on the leaderboard. And still on that bottom row, we have the chain of good old Macargo. Let's go through the end credits now. Skip through the swirling eagerly buff. Because there is still something more we have to do. Let's go over to Violet City. Let's open up my PC. We will attach the mail back to Kenya. And we will say thank you, Kenya, for the last hundred minutes or so. You've been an absolute pleasure to work with. But you've got to go home. We will save, of course, before Nurse Joy. Or in front of Nurse Joy. And that is the run done. Now, I do have a little bit of time left for today's stream. So what we're going to do is we're going to test out this randomizer that I have built. See if it falls on its arse, see if it works, and have a little bit of fun with that. But I'm going to need a couple of minutes to get everything set up, so this is a good time to go to the loo, maybe make yourself a drink, get some food, have a little stretch, do the self-care, and we'll be back in a couple of moments' time.
And we are back. Apologies for the slightly longer than anticipated break there. The cats being the cats was fussy. Thank you for popping in, Deadpool. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Now, I do need to clean some on-screen furniture here. So we're going to be using the Nuzlocke overlay. Let's get rid of those. And let's swap to the Nuzlocke overlay. And it might just need a little refresh. There is a scientist in our room. And this scientist will have the options. So, do we want to randomize gift and start a Pokemon? Is our first question. And I will let the chat decide. Yeah, why not? Randomize the wilds? That's the next question. Absolutely randomize the wilds. Same with the trainers. Let's randomize those trainers. And should all trainer Pokemon be fully evolved? That is our next question. So that will force every single trainer battle to be fully evolved. A lot of no's coming through here. That surprises me. You're being nice to me. And do we want to increase the po enemy Pokemon levels? So we have options of 10%, 20%, and 25% enemy Pokemon level increase. And what I will do here is I will stick up a poll. If I can spell the word levels. Ten percent. Twenty percent. Twenty five percent. And zero percent. Let's start that poll, shall we? I'll give you a couple of minutes to vote for this. It's percent. And it is already looking very, very much like 10% is going to be the winner here. This is just the trainer Pokemon. The uh, level increase. So I'm going to have a separate flag for wild Pokemon level increases. Now, I haven't quite incorporated the candy jar into this yet. Well, you never know. We might end up doing a little bit of coding at some point. In fact, let me get a notepad window up, just in case we do some coding. We could, add, we could in fact, add the candy box now. Right here, right now. We could do some co coding on the fly. In fact, let me see if I can do this now. So what will we need for that? We'll need item effects. And let me get my notepad up. So you can all see what I'm doing. Coding with Squidge. Who'd have thought this would have ever happened? And what other things will I need? Let's get ourselves names for the items. Probably don't need that file. need the attributes though so let's start off by looking for rare candy it's here and what we're going to want to do is get rid of that line and instead we will need it to be item attributes zero held non part select it's going to be a key item isn't it so let's take that from there And instead of item menu current, it's going to be item menu party. Because we need to open the party men menu. Where's rare candy in this list? We will change that to 
candy box. And item effects, rare candy effect. We want to get rid of the use disposable item routine. And we'll cap that off with a red. So we return out the routine. There we go. Nice bit of coding. Yes, free coding classes with Squidgy. I'll end that poll now. I do need to remake this wrong. And what we will do is we'll do the 10% increase there. Drop a save state while the ROM remakes. And I need to actually put in this candy jar somewhere now. So let's go for Player's House 2F. I will get the notepad back up. So what do we want? We want Player's House 2F candy jar. And I like to do a little bit of cheating with this kind of thing. Because I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. So let us go to somewhere like Route 34. Where there is a nugget on the ground. So I will nick the nugget information here. Where is it? Where is our Player's House 2F? It's all the way over here. So we will add a new object event for the nugget. Change that to event. Player's room. Let's keep it consistent, shall we? We need to add an event flag for that. That just lets us know that we picked it up so it won't spawn it in. And we've got that. What do we call it? Players House to F Rare Candy. Sprite Pokeball, that's all fine. Players House 2F Candy Jar. And then all we need to do is we need to go back to the Route 30, 34. Grab the Nugget script. Because we're lazy. What's the picture stuff? And that should be all we need to do, hopefully. And that'll be the coding put away. Let's see if it let's see if it falls on its ass, first of all. So I feel like I've missed a step. That seemed too easy. But no, in fact, it has made. So now what I need to do is I need to reload this particular file. And with any luck. Oh, I didn't set its location. I knew there was something I didn't do. Goodness me. It's currently spawned way outside of the room. It spawned on coordinate 7.30. So instead, we'll stick it on the table. And then we'll remake. No wonder we couldn't see it. And then after this fact, we'll actually get to play the video game. There we go. Candy box acquired, that'll go into our bag. And it says, you don't have a Pokemon. What has happened to my game capture there? There we go. Alright, I haven't removed some leftover code here. So we'll get asked about randomising again, I think. We'll make sure the map is reloaded. Let's see what our starters are. 
We were talking about Smoochum earlier. Smoochum, Tyrogue, and Tentacruel. We've spoken about all three of those Pokemon already today. Goodness me. So, once again, I will add a very, very quick poll. Starter. Smoochum. Tyrogue. Or Tentacruel. And let's now see what you will go for. Immediately a vote goes on to Tentacruel. We are allowed to evolve, yes. But it's leveling out. A lot of people want to see Tyrogue. That's very interesting. But it's looking like Tentacruel is going to be the winner. I will wait a few more moments. And we will need a nickname for a Tentacruel if we end up with a Tentacruel. I've not incorporated a level cap into this yet, by the way. I was waiting to see how everything worked. You want to see Hitmon top? Well, we'll try and get to... I don't know how far we're going to get with this, honestly. But it's looking like Tentacruel is the winner. I will give you just a few more seconds to get your votes in. And we shall see, once and for all, who we're going to be running. Oh, please do tell me what it is. I'm very curious now, Kanbei. We are holding at 13 votes. Let's close the poll. And we are getting ourselves a Tentacruel. Nuzlocke Overlay, why aren't you working? Gamehook has decided that it doesn't like the Nuzlocke overlay. I'll reopen Gamehook. Technical issues today. Goodness me. Squidgy extras. Overlay, please, just work. Why is this not working? Uh, I, I can work out the rest from there, Kanbei. You know what, we'll call it Squiddy. It's kind of concerning that my Nuzlocke overlay has stopped working, seeing as it's the overlay I'm supposed to be using tomorrow. It's the challenge overlay working. The challenge overlay is working. So what is wrong with the Nuzlocke overlay? That is the next question. Apologies about this. Let's see what it's whinging about, shall we? Oh, that'll be why. to reload my game hook mapper one more time. I'll tell you what the technical issues today. What do you mean applying the mapper failed? There we go. The level cap is going to be absolute lies at the moment. I've not had a chance to update this overlay for this particular ROM. So we're going to have a level cap of 143 and we've had 239 losses. Fantastic. But we are now ready to get on with the Nuzlocke. And what we'll do is we'll go and reset these settings here. Randomised starter and gift Pokemon, yes. Randomised wilds, yes. Randomised trainers, yes. No to the fully evolved. And up by 10%. There we go. And our first encounter is a Gengar. Let's run from that. Another Gengar. Gengar's clearly the common here. 
So the encounters are just like what you would see in the Universal Pokemon Randomizer. So each encounter slot is fully randomized. I don't have Force Good Early Wilds on, but looking at this, you would assume that we do. Look at all these fantastic Pokemon we could get. Because one of the things I am going to do is have a little flag to force up good early wilds. Entei! Jeez! And what that will mean is if a Pokemon is level 10 or below, then we will force it to be a fully evolved Pokemon. Just for sake of ease, really. And then that again will be another option. I mean, the chain of great Pokemon had to come to an end there. There's a Susan. And it just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Taking full advantage of not having Pokeballs yet, by the way. Let's get the mystery egg. We'll have to see what the rival has. The rival won't currently have one of the other two Pokemon in the balls. I've not quite figured that coding out yet. So his teams are going to be pseudo-random for now. I hope you have a good time cleaning. Thank you so much for chatting today. So he's got an Espeon. That's not good. Because even with our bulk, we are struggling ever so slightly here. But we just about make it through, get all that delicious experience. Oh no, we could get a Caterpie as our Route 1 encounter. Uh, let's see. First Gra. Thank you, game. We all wanted a Caterpie. We could have had a Gengar. We could have had an Entei. But no, we get a Caterpie. At least we caught it. I'm just going to call this one bad. Because that's, that's how I feel about it. We'll come back for Route 46 later, I think. By a bunch of balls. Hello, old friend, you're back! I have no idea what Macargo's catch rate is. I'm hoping it's better than this. There we go. We have Macargo. This one's a female, female Macargo, so we'll call it Jerry instead of Gary. What a who's who of who the hell are you team we have so far. Goodness me. We just about defeated a Sand Slash.
And I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow we'll do another gift lock run. And then next Friday we'll do the randomized Nuzlocke. Because there are a few more bits I want to fit in. Bloody hell an Umbreon. A Magneton? Oh no. Sherry, do you have a fire type move? Sherry, you're dead. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? Sonic Boom being the bane of our life there. Now, I am starting to feel a little bit worse for wear again, so I might actually wrap it up here and take a bit of an early dance today because I can feel the energy sapping. But it has been an absolute pleasure over the last, goodness knows how long, two and a bit hours. And we shall be back tomorrow with another version of the gift lock. And then we will have more fun next week as well. So I do have a couple of people I want to say thank you to before leaving it there for the day. So thank you to YY once again for joining a Pokeball tier. That came through yet again. Thank you to Kanbei for the whole one year. And to Sora Donald Goofy for the $2 super chat. It has been an absolute pleasure. And I will see you all tomorrow for more Nuzlocke Fridays. And until next time, have a lovely, lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you all soon.